starting this week the same way as last. Skunk. This one's bonus because it's also small and very muddy. But I guess that's a, it's a Christmas skunk. I think it's Christmas Day. So we're checking the line. Hopefully it's a little better than that. So I'm out this morning getting most of my water line reset. Uh, I can finally get to most of it again. This area, even right through here, I couldn't even drive across here uh, but until today. The water's been over the road and really pretty deep. So anyway, this end of my line I haven't seen in about 10 days, so I'm gonna go see if I can get back to my sets. Uh, luckily, none of them are set, so uh, no worries having a, a gross critter, but I do need to, to uh, hopefully get them reset and uh, I'm gonna check the other end of my line. But I did manage to get out a new chunk of land line yesterday, so I'll check that later and hopefully maybe uh, catch another cat. So anyway, I'm gonna see how far I can make it and uh, hopefully get everything reset. I've had a couple people ask me uh, if I had any concerns about uh, making it so there just wasn't very many critters left out here on my water line, but I kind of want to show this. This happens every year, not normally this early, but um, that's the river, which normally you wouldn't be able to see from here. Uh, but anyway, the water comes way up, and then all of this property, essentially it all floods. And there's, a, we got a little, I'm driving on a dike right now, which is enough to keep me out of the water, but uh, as the river comes up, there's actually another river on the other side of this that's doing the same thing from the other direction and a lot of the critters just come back in because like, all of the bank dens and stuff along the rivers get washed out and then they end up back out here. So hopefully uh, once all the water level comes back down, uh, I'll have replenish my water line, but it'll definitely take it down for probably the next two weeks. It'll probably take that long for all the water to get down, but uh, that's okay. If there's a whole bunch of new critters here, that'll work. Uh, but I'm gonna run out and check the landline today and see if there's anything happening out there. Been a pretty brutal uh, about last 10 days. Super high water, uh, freezing at night, and it's on during the day, so my landline's not really working. Uh, in fact, I haven't caught anything since Christmas Day, and I was just a skunk. So, you anyway, know, I picked up a nutrient in this run, so hopefully we'll turn the corner, get back to catching some fur, but see what the rest of the line has today. Here's a random one. Just came into the 330, still sat, nothing in it. But, uh, there's a dead duck laying there next to it. Kind of weird, who knows? But uh, so we'll get it out of the way and hopefully something will come through here. Well, definitely a better uh, day out today on the water line. I haven't checked my land line yet, so I'm heading out to do that next. But uh, it's all nutrients. But after not catching anything for a while, that's, that'll work. Uh, I think that, that the high water settling and hopefully more critters moving in. Uh, We'll, get to, we'll catch numbers back up. Hopefully those will be a little better uh, next week or so, get some, some more beavers and otters and whatnot. But anyway, I'm going to put a couple more sets in on this little slough down here, and then I'm going to run out and check my landline. Got a few more runs set. You can see it's these trails that come down this big culvert through here. These will probably just be new trees. I can almost guarantee it. I got another one right there. But, uh... That's okay though, I'll pick a couple of those. I'd be surprised if both of these don't have one in them tomorrow, but uh, off to the lane line, see if anything else comes up today. Well, the glorious fur continues. It's another doozy. It's actually a pretty nice possum. It's pretty light in a big one, so I guess catching something better than nothing. But uh, I'll get this guy out. It's first uh, actually check of the day, so nowhere to go but up from here, so we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Well, here's the newest weather change. Lots of fog. That's actually okay, though, because I've actually seen a lot of critters moving today. I don't know if they feel more protected in it. But, uh, kind of run the lines and see if I uh, can't pick up something today. So, I'll keep you posted. And finally, something a little better. The last couple weeks have been uh, just a whole lot of nutrients. So, I haven't taken a lot of video, but... Um, Anyway, uh, get this guy taken care of and uh, see if there's anything else out here today. So Nick's set down the road, another possum. This one, however, didn't mess up my set too bad because he managed to get a front and a back leg in that number three. So uh, get this all taken care of and reset and uh, keep on moving. 
Well, here's today's catch. Three nutrias, raccoon and opossum. Uh, not terrible for numbers. I'll take a five catch day, pretty much any day. Would be nice to mix a few more, I guess more high quality critters in there, but uh, it was nice to pick up a raccoon today. So anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up. The last couple weeks, like I said, it's been a lot of nutrias. So hopefully the next week we'll bring something a little bit more interesting, but uh, until then, have a good one and thanks for watching.